Joining us to break down Hillary Clinton's pick, pick and more is Carlos Watson. He has been covering the presidential campaign for Aussie Media, the online news magazine he founded. Carlos, good morning. Good morning. Good to be with you. Start off with the timing of this, because it was interesting to see her pick the VP at 8-11 last night. Right. You know, I think she chose him earlier. She's been uh, walking him around a little bit, trying him out. And I think she'd hoped to announce it earlier. But much like the Mike Pence announcement, I think, unfortunately, terrorism issues, in this particular case, Munich yesterday, I think delayed it a little bit. But I think from Secretary Clinton's side, normally you wouldn't have done it on a Friday night, right? right. In the yeah. old days, that would have been buried. No one would have seen it. But now in social media, you know that it can still penetrate, that people can still hear about she it. She even tweeted it, didn't she? She even yeah. tweeted it. You know, she texted it as well, which was a little bit of a throwback. Yeah. You know, yeah. tweets yeah. and Facebooks are what we've become, we've come to know, but now a little bit of texting jumped back in there. He ticks a lot of boxes for her. He's mm -hmm. a senator in a battleground state, former governor, former mayor, but on the left side of the party, there's some disenchantment with this pick, is there not? You know, n not strong enough uh, that it would seem to derail it, uh, but certainly he's not Elizabeth Warren or even yeah. Sherrod Brown uh, of Ohio. Uh, but I think more than anything, you saw Secretary Clinton say, I want to choose someone who I'm going to enjoy working with, yeah. who, if I do get elected, it's not going to give me drama. It's not going to be plotting. Nobody wants House of Cards here. Right? It was so, interesting to hear himself say, I'm boring. I know that I am the boring candidate. That's never a good sign, right? <laughs> but there's something very honest about someone saying, sure. I, I understand how people might perceive Boring me. may be a relief in this political <laughs> year. Very much so. And again, from her vantage point, you look at a swing state uh, like Virginia, 13 electoral votes. It's been close. Uh, Republicans last won it in 2004. And I think she says, if I can get an extra point, even two out of him here, and if that's enough to give me all 13 of the electoral votes, uh, could get me really close to the 270 that I need. He speaks Spanish fluently. Is that likely to help her in Florida? You know, we'll wait and see. Uh, there's no doubt about it uh, that the Latino vote is important, not only in Florida, but Colorado, Nevada, a number of other swing states. She could have obviously gone for someone like Julian Castro, the secretary yes. of HUD, or uh, Thomas Perez, and didn't. But I think there's no two ways about it that uh, his speaking Spanish, his ability to go on Univision uh, and other places is going to be valuable. In Nancy Cordes' report, she talked a little bit about how dark Trump's speech was, something a lot of people were quick to seize upon. What was your assessment of the RNC and especially that speech? Well, you, you know, it, it's uh, I, I mixed messages. I think ultimately I give it a C plus or a B minus as convention uh, from uh, Melania's earlier flub to uh, the Ted Cruz kind of Brutus moment to what have you. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed that? Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't the best. But you know what? If you look at the polls, he got enough of a little bit of bump. A uh, number of polls say that he's pulling close, including in places uh, uh, like Ohio. So I think that was helpful there. But uh, I was talking to uh, Carl Rove uh, last night. As you know, I'm going to spend some time with him today. And he wondered uh, out loud whether you needed a little bit more of a Reagan-esque, hopeful, mm. optimistic message uh, and whether or not you'll see some of that from uh, Trump in the last 110 days or so. All right. Carlos Watson, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Really good to be with you.